What's up, everybody? This is Big Russ for Road Trip and RC. And I know back at the beginning of the month, I posted a short showing a new body that was painted. Yeah. That's better. Um, so, 4th of July weekend, I decided that I was going to build a new truck. I haven't even finished my SCX-10. I The body's painted. <laughs> it looks incredible. I've got to get it shipped to me. But I decided that I wanted a truck with portals. I've got a straight axle truck. All my 18s and 24s are all straight axle. I wanted a big truck on portals. Now, this truck's not done. I'm waiting on a few miscellaneous pieces of hardware, uh, new drive shafts, because I actually broke a driver off <laughs> in the screw for my front drive shaft, and I cannot find the rest of that drive shaft now that I have the hardware. I'm also waiting on body mount hardware to come in. So that being said, I'm about to show you guys the new rig. So this is my TRX for sport and in the video I painted it duplicolor shift okay this is change the color purple green shift now I saw a lot of people saying oh don't use duplicolor and you see right here I got a lot of chipping right there is a lot of chipping and I got some you know just, uh, all the dirt and stuff the scratches are from the running video I'm gonna put in at the end but yeah so I actually love the color <coughs> excuse me that purple green color shift looks so good on this in person and Let's see if it'll pick up. There we go. I mean, look how crazy that is. Absolutely insane. I also painted the jerry cans. So, anybody knows the fire extinguisher here? This is the red that these are originally. Duplicolor metal cast and an eyes red. The color shift paint was $20. This I picked up at Ollie's for three. And I mean, how good does, it, does that look? That looks more realistic than that. So like I said, I'm waiting on some stuff to come in. Notice, no body mounts on the rear. That's because they're attached to the truck. All this dirt and stuff is from me just going to play with it a few minutes ago. And as you can see, I'm already missing paint in quite a few spots. And I don't care. Like, the truck still looks good. Uh, I've got to reinstall my slider on this side. Um, I mean, I literally just went out and recorded the running video for you guys. Uh, this is a Traxxas Titan motor. That's warm. Um, <laughs> I guess... Uh, I guess I'll be ordering a heat sink for it just to help keep it cool. I've got to adjust the bumper, fitment. I got a two cell lipo. Nothing crazy here, okay? So my running gear or electronics is like 80 bucks, 70, eh, maybe 80 bucks because it's a Traxxas motor and uh, the XL. Uh, XL5 that's three cell capable. 
as far as everything else goes, I'm running a Radio Link RZFG with the RC6GS V3 controller. It is seven channel. So as I upgrade this to putting, you know, lockers in the axles, upgrading the transmission, I don't have to worry because my radio can control it or handle it. And that's what I like about this kit. It's not an ex eh, they're kind of expensive kits. This one was around 300 bucks. If you get the one with the factory electronics, you're looking at around 400 bucks, but that's still a smoking deal. Uh, you still have to buy a battery and chargers. Uh, I picked this set up from my local shop for, it's like $110, which isn't bad. I mean, it really isn't. And, uh, you know, I picked up stuff off of uh, Amazon, like my servo. I am going to have to get in there and learn how to adjust my servo points and everything in the radio because right now it wants to pull to the right. I got to dial it in. It's not a big deal. It's just learning new stuff. So that being said, I'm going to put my running video in. Here at the end, it's just me messing around behind my apartment in the uh, around the pool area. You know, just try to break these tires in, you know. So, that being said, I'm Big Russ. I will catch you guys in the next one, and I hope you enjoyed this build because this was actually a lot of fun, even if my paint job kind of sucks.